It was 2004. I was halfway into sixth grade, and it was required that we take a sex education course. Our teacher announced the news, and she was immediately met with a few chuckles and a couple half-hearted giggles. She informed us that if anyone wasn't mature today, that they would be sent to the principal's office immediately and suspended from school. However, being 12-year-olds at the time, we all knew someone was bound to get in trouble. Luckily, our teacher wasn't in charge. She was a 64-year-old woman and Looking back, I doubt any man or woman would have done anything sexual with her. The school therapist Mel Brooke Monroe was in charge. He was very nervous and uncomfortable. Every time he said penis or vagina, he would clear his throat and pull his tie from his neck left and right. Bored because I had been an avid porn connoisseur since... 2002, I began to doodle. For whatever reason, kids caught notice and started passing me notes, requesting what pictures I should draw for them. I drew Spongebob riding a lion, Goku fighting Charizard, and Hank Hill huffing propane. I never really received any attention in school, so it was pretty cool. That is until I received a request from the class bully, Joseph Bryan. The sick fuck requested I draw Dr. Monroe having sex with a rabid gorilla by candlelight. I would have declined, but the end of the request read, P.S. If you don't do it, nerd, I'll kick your ass. I finished the horrible picture in record time. And even though I was disgusting and it was pretty unholy, it was my best work. However, Joseph had cruel intentions in mind. As I finished, he instantly raised his hand and said that I was distracting him by drawing crude artwork. My heart sunk. Dr. Melbrook walked over and grabbed my notebook and began to shuffle through my doodles. For a few moments his eyes scanned in anger, and then his mouth dropped, and he froze. He then began to cry, and told me I was terrible, and he ran out the room. Shortly after the principal barged in, and demanded I follow him. Although I was furious, I knew every chick in class would think I was a total badass. I was told to sit down while the principal gathered his thoughts. He asked why on God's green earth I would create such horrid art, and I told him it was a request. He shut me down instantly, as if I was some kind of liar, and then he asked if I should mail a copy of this to my mother. He waited for me to answer, although we both knew it was a rhetorical question. But during the awkward silence, I began to laugh. I imagined my sweet, sweet mother getting a letter from the principal. I also found it funny thinking what he was going to put on the envelope. Would he put a disclaimer, or would he just leave it blank with his name on it? Seeing me laugh, he lost it. He looked up my address, gave me detention, and then he mailed the letter. I waited every day for that letter, and finally it came. I carefully opened it, removed the letter he wrote to her, and simply left the picture. I then resealed the envelope and gave it to my mother. She opened it and told me to leave the room. She then started praying and called the school to complain, and I think the principal was fired right then and there. Ahead of time, I had contacted Nine News from my mom's email, and I just told her that 
They must have heard it through MySpace or something. I never saw that principal or Dr. Mel Brooks Monroe again. And I hope I never do.